Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. This is the first video in a series of videos where I discuss the uh, five axis CNC machine I built. I think first off, when you really need to focus in on accuracy, specifically some of the tools you're gonna need to make sure the machine is accurate. So let's take a look at it now. All right, I feel like I'm channeling my this old Tony. If you haven't seen him, I'll actually put a link in the description. He does some great work. Anyway, so if all you've got is a tape measure and a bubble level, construction bubble level, these devices will not be able to produce any kind of meaningful results in your 5-axis machine. So you need to upgrade. So we're just going to take those two devices and throw them aside. Maybe I shouldn't have thrown them. Alright, up next, I've got this uh, laser device. It actually produces a laser in the front, the top, the bottom, and the sides. Realistically, um, probably not necessary. I actually had it, so I went ahead and used it. And you'll see that coming up here in a second. But uh, probably not enough something you really need to spend any money on unless you've got it already. All right, so finally, you've got this, uh, this level. It's actually very, very accurate, uh, specifically for machines. It's a 12-inch level. Um, that's a, what is that? That's a 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000 accuracy. Um, way, way, way too level for this device. Uh, this this thing is is it's really hard to level because it's not level to the floor and it's really really long So this this was way overkill. Um, I tried to use it. Unfortunately it did not work out for me So we're gonna take and put that aside All right, that leaves us the last two devices the first up is the DT pass level I used a model number 1300 it actually has this nice little application for the iOS it's capable of generating degrees up to about a hundred thousand of an inch and you can see here it goes from this direction here up right to hitting that button there it goes up down which is very important given the way I've configured the machine you'll see that coming up finally we've got the Stanley device here which is a TM330 it says for the documentation that it's capable of measuring degrees up to one thirty second or about a millimeter which is plenty sufficient for what I'm trying to achieve. So with all that said, let's get into the actual calibration step. All right, I'm gonna start off with the optional step I was talking about. Um, this here is the little laser device I have that I've uh, used for construction. As you can see, I have it uh, perched a little bit precariously, but um, it is holding steady and that's what the important part is. Okay, you can see here that there's a line that's been drawn on the gantry. I used a DigiPass level to actually create that line so it's perfectly level to the ground. And I've now lined up the laser pointer to that line. Then I send the machine down a specific... And basically, if it's above or below the line, I would have to go in and adjust these feet until I got it uh, in the ballpark. This is, an, again, a step that's not entirely necessary. This doesn't prove it's 100% level, but it did actually uh, get the machine within a, a certain amount of levelness, so I was able to just dial it in simply. Okay, so you can see at this next part here, I'm using the DigiPass level. It's actually resting on a piece of uh, dimensional steel that's crossing between these two points. These points here are actually spaced every one foot, and they actually are the bolting points for the V-connector rail that I use on the X portion of the uh, machine. So what you do um, is I'm using these angular brackets to hold this 80-20 uh, rail on. I'll actually go through the actual parts list later on on a different video. This is really just about calibration. Uh, so anyway, what I did is you, you get your bevel bubble, you put it in between the two points using these screws, you lower or, or raise the screws until you get it perfectly level. And then you continue on every one foot until this whole beam or this whole side is level. Once this side's level, I actually use the gantry and put the level on the gantry itself and then repeated the process on the other side. So now the gantry is completely level to the ground. All right, last step. Now that we know the machine is perfectly level to the ground, we need to basically measure from point A to point B. We'll have the machine calculate the number of steps it took to get from those two positions so that we can get the uh, actual distance per step. So to do that, I'm using the Stanley that I referred to, and I've got a point picked on the head right now. 
it's very important that that point be the same when you start as to where you end. That way you don't introduce any kind of angle into your calculations. Uh, unfortunately, I just kind of threw this back up when I first did it. It took me a long time to get the late this pointer set up. So for you guys, sorry about that. I'm just going to show you how I did it. Um, so I've got it picked here. This is obviously a starting uh, number. And then I send the machine to the end. Once it gets to the end, I look at the distance and I go into the software and I tell it exactly how far it went. This is the same for Mach and for Masso, and then it'll actually make sure the steps are correct. All right, that covers the calibration. But you could be saying to yourself, well, how does he know it's accurate? That's pretty straightforward. You see, we have this Porsche mold here, this Porsche wing mold, and we used a Peel 3D scanner to create a, uh, the object that we were going to cut out. Once we had that object, we used the 5-axis CNC machine. We cut out the actual part, and then we took the mold and sprayed it with a little talcum powder. And we laid the mold on top of the part. We tested front to back and side to side. There was absolutely no movement. And when we removed this mold, we actually could see the talcum powder uh, actually transferred onto the actual cut part. So we know we're well within tolerance, at least of uh, the, the machine, uh, the capabilities I have of measuring. So hopefully you found that interesting. If you have any comments or questions, uh, please feel free to leave them below and I'll do the best I can to answer them. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing.